is it your dream to grow like this on your channel? The best way to do that is to learn from the YouTuber who did. This is the YouTuber Dreams Growth Stats, appropriately named. And we will dig into exactly how he achieved this growth from 1,000 subscribers to 25 million in this video. Let's get right into it. Let's start at the beginning. The article starts talking about how Dream unlocked the secret of the YouTube algorithm. And the key things is he took three years to grow to 25 million subscribers and he's growing faster than PewDiePie. How is he doing it? Well, he's only 22 years old. And in 2018, he had 1,000 subscribers. A year later, almost 2 million. And today, over 25 million. The secret to his success is that he focused on these Lollapalooza effect, uh, these techniques. Defining a niche, borrowed interest, and let's cover each of these in this video. Starting with defining a niche. He was a Minecraft channel. It was a saturated topic. It still is. Lots of people making Minecraft videos. How did he stand out? He created custom coded Minecraft videos. He wrote mods and he made the games unique because he had the skills. Is there a skill you have, something unique that all the other YouTubers making videos in the content you're interested in don't have? Well, find it and focus on it. That's what Dream did. He thinks the most, uh, he thinks most YouTubers can't write code. Most YouTubers are not coders. He's right. And he thought that's something he can do to make him stand out. What can you do to make you stand out? That's your first question. Let's move on to the second topic of borrowed interest. PewDiePie is the sixth largest channel on YouTube with 110 million subscribers. He's the most popular gamer ever. However, in the summer of 2018, there was an opportunity that Dream saw where PewDiePie was creating a challenge to the community that he wanted to find his world's seed. <laughs> Apparently, we will not try to understand what that means. And so what Dream did is he quickly took up this challenge and made videos covering it so that the legion of fans that are PewDiePie's fans that were searching for this uh, seed that PewDiePie challenged now found Dream's videos. It's a simple concept. It's called a tentpole event and you should create content around trending topics, which is exactly what Dream did here. And it really worked for him. It brought him a legion of new subscribers because of these four videos that he made. In terms of optimization, if you look at his channel in 2019, it looks like a random mess. He experimented with a variety of different formats. I'm sure you've experimented with many different formats. And the question is, did you find one that worked? So here is, again, Dream's channel in 2019. And if you look closer, patterns start to emerge. The key is that Dream was testing and learning and he found seven types of content. He was testing with seven types of content. And the winner was the manhunt. He found that these speedrunner versus hunter or the manhunt uh, videos that where he was attempting to beat Minecraft while other players were hunting him down, got the most views, got the most watch time. And so he focused on those the most and he found huge growth. In fact, his audience was giving him comments like, it's basically like watching an action movie for free. This is more intense than Avengers Endgame. So uh, you can see that the fans love the concept and Dream, and Dream realized the potential and he doubled down. He started creating more of these videos. He upped the stakes. He had more of his friends as hunters and he came up with crazier ways of evading them. This is the kind of niche and optimization you need to do for your channel. Ask yourself if there's something you've tried, seven different topics. Have you measured the results of each one? Did you double down on the one that worked? If not, do it. By the way, the link to this article is down there in the description below if you'd like to read it yourself. And Avienda is here right next to me. She has additional tips to add, Avi. Dream and Techno, they had a duel and 100K was on the line. $100,000. Yeah. Okay. And? By the way. And where did this $100,000 come from? That seems like a lot of money for just uh, one challenge. 
Social proof is the next one. It's the concept that where you see others do something, you are far more likely to do the same. Only 5% of people are initiators and 95% are imitators, meaning they follow what other people do rather than try to do something on their own. So social proof is an overwhelming force that influences much of our behavior. The greater the number of people who find an idea correct, the more, I, the, more the idea will be correct. So how does this help Dream? He has woven this into his titles, tags, and even calls to action in his videos. For example, uh, in this video, three of my friends hunt me down and stop me from beating Minecraft. We said we would do it one final time for all the marbles if the last video got one million likes and it did in a day. So here we are. So basically he challenged the audience. He usually uploads once every month, but that was an extra video since the last video got one million likes and less than a day. So you've seen this video. Apparently she's seen all of Dream's videos and that's why Dream has got 25 million subscribers plus one from Avienda. Next is social proof, where at its core, the concept is if you see others do something, you are far more likely to do the same because 95% of people are imitators. They copy what others do and only 5% are initiators or innovators that do something on their own. So how does Dream use this? Here's an example of some dialogue. In this video, three of my friends hunt me down and stop me from beating Minecraft. We said we would do it one final time for all the marbles if the last video got 1 million likes and it did. So he's encouraging people to like his videos in order to create new content based on the number of likes. And he goes on to say a few other things, but the point is, uh, here are the three key points of social proof in that, in that uh, narrative. He introduces the video. He mentions three of his friends are playing with him. He reiterates this by saying, we. He entices fans to like his videos with rewards. In this case, he highlighted that over a million people watched his video because he said he'd do it if the last one got a million likes. As a viewer, you can't help but ask yourself this question. If a million people ask for this video, it's got to be amazing, right? And even in his call to action to subscribe, he uses social proof. He highlights that although there are a lot of viewers, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos actually subscribe. He's basically guilting non-subscribers into action. Do you do these techniques? If not, why not? Try them. Maybe you'll see impressive results on your channel as well. And guys, we're just learning from the master here. Clearly it worked for Dream. It may not work for you but likely elements of what worked for Dream will work for you. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried any of these techniques and your results. So let's get on to parasocial bonding. This is speaking to your audience personally. For example, in Dream's videos, he says things like, so if you end up liking this video, consider subscribing, it's free. You can always change your mind. This reinforces an artificial feeling of closeness. He also, over time, incorporated two of his friends, Bad Boy Halo and Snap Nap. <laughs> They've been friends for years, and you can feel it in the video. It's, an, it's a genuine friendship. And if you have friends in real life, encourage them to be in your videos. Create that same personal, genuine friendship, and you may get the same, say it with me, parasocial bonding. Next, we go into emotional resonance, creating an emotional reaction from your audience. The keys here are your audience doesn't want to be bored. They want to have awe, anger, or anxiety from your videos. Dream skills and ability to outsmart competitors, awe. Manufactured conflict with rivals, anger, anxiety. It seems like there's no escape and Dream has odds against him. There's constant anxiety through his runs. How close are the hunters to Dream? What if they're around the next corner? What if they're preparing a trap? This really works on human emotion, and there's also anger to be found. It's part of our emotional state. Don't be afraid to utilize it in your videos. Cross-promotion is an obvious one. Cross-promotion or collaboration is the fastest way to grow on YouTube. It's simply taking to YouTubers and cross-promoting each other on each other's channels. 
If you haven't already tried it, try it. It really works. Intrigue is an obvious one. It makes the audience wonder what's going to happen next. I remember uh, reading an interview about famous radio hosts that the best ones have the audience listening because they can't wait to hear what he's going to say next. A sense of intrigue. So have that in your videos. Leave a cliffhanger. Let them guess. Challenge them to guess what's going to happen next in your future videos. That will help you get people to come back uh, to watch the next video if you've sparked their intrigue. So what can we learn from Dream? I think we've already learned a few things. But the point is you should apply these strategies to your own efforts. Uh, Charlie Munger, a 97-year-old billionaire and investor, once said, in my whole life, I have known no wise people who didn't read all the time. None. Zero. So step one is you should read. You should read this article. <laughs> Link is down there in the description below. Dream read over 200 books, apparently, to truly master the ins and outs of how to grow his channel to what he did. So do your research, do your reading, and I hope since Dream is living his dream, uh, you will be as well if you are willing to put in the effort to pursue yours. Does this help Freedom Family? Are these tips uh, new ideas that you haven't tried? Tell us down there in the comments below and share your best practices and advice so we can all help each other grow together as a family because that is the spirit of freedom. And I apologize for not making more videos lately. We've been busy with paying everybody. If you remember, we recently made a video announcing that Freedom paid over $1.1 million dollars right here to game developers. And click that eye in case you missed the video because it was a big milestone. We're also now paying writers. We have the complete writer's share as a revenue stream in the Freedom dashboard. How it works is very simple. If you write articles on mgn.gg and they generate revenue from display ads on this website, then you will get paid 90% revenue share of, those, of that ad revenue. For example, here is an ad. The point is we now pay in game developers, YouTubers, uh, writers, and soon we'll be paying other classes of revenue streams, other artists, and we're busy with all that. So I hope you'll, uh, I hope you'll accept my apology. Also, we launched a new game. It's now live. It's called Guardians of High Lore. This was launched on Steam, and the game is now out. Check it out. You can now buy it. This is currently in pesos, but if we go to USD, it's about $20. Click the link down there in the description below to go to this Steam page. And we launched a second game today. Ruin Raiders is now out. Here you can see the game. Click the link down there again to visit the Steam page. This is hot off the presses. And we have more games coming. Later this month will be San Zavora, then To the Rescue, a dog shelter simulator, and then Airborne Kingdom for Xbox and PlayStation and Switch. I hope you'll enjoy all these games that we have coming for you. It's an action-packed month for Freedom Games. Until the next episode, Freedom Family, click that I for the playlist of The George Show in case you missed any episodes. And who am I? I am The George of The George Show the CEO and founder of Freedom. Yes, that freedom up there. And uh, you've been an amazing family. We've been doing this now for eight years and running. And we plan to do this for at least another eight years. So join the Freedom family. Head on over to www.freedom.tm and sign up. And if you're a game developer, head on over to www.freedom.gg and pitch us your game. You want to see that website? Yes, okay, here it is. Freedom.gg is only for game developers. This will not help you if you're a YouTuber. But the whole point is you can come and pitch your game to us. And if there's a good fit where we can add value, 
we will offer to publish your game and help you get more sales and awareness on launch day and every update that you publish. All right, Freedom Family, I hope you got your exercise today. I did not, so bad boy, George. But I hope to get my exercise tomorrow. It's the best way to stay healthy and fit, and I encourage you to do it every day or at least every other day. Until the next episode, I am George, and you've been watching... Ooh, you're dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.